we start with the first module which is based on theory. Before we start with this chapter, let us have the introductory part of statistics. We define statistics in the two sense, one as a plural sense, another as a singular sense. In plural sense, it is defined as a statistical data. In singular sense, it is defined as a statistical technique we applied on data. We divide a statistical data in two types. One as a quantitative data, another as a qualitative data. Question arise, what is the meaning of quantitative data? A data which can be quantified directly in terms of numerical figure is called a quantitative data, example height, weight, income, etc. Now, what is the meaning of qualitative data then? Cause data which cannot be quantified directly in terms of numerical figure is called a qualitative data, example beauty, nationality, religion, etc. When we apply statistical technique on data, question arise, it includes what? It includes a collection of data, then classification of data and presentation of data, analysis of data and interpretation of data. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to analyze and interpret the data. For analysis and interpretation of data, we have to understand the characteristic of the data first. Let us understand this concept with an example. The heights uh, to the nearest inch of 10 employees of firm are given to us and you are asked to describe the heights of 10 employees by a single value. So question arises, it is possible to describe 10 figures into one figure. Yes, then most probably your comment will be average height of the employees in the group is 65 inches where average equal to sum of heights of 10 employees divided by 10 in this case. So average equal to 650 divided by 10. So average equal to we get 65 inches. So average represents which characteristic of data? It is the tendency of the data that they always cluster around the central value or a central location that is an, an average. Central tendency of the data is the first characteristic of the data. Question arise, how to find a central tendency of data? Method applied to find the central tendency is called a measures of central tendency. This is the beauty of an average that the whole mass of the population is getting condensed into the one figure. This one figure that is in an average represents the characteristic of the entire mass of the population. Central tendency plays a very important part in many areas. A company is recognized by its high average profit. An educational institution is judged on the basis of average marks obtained by its student and so on. Objectives of an average to determine the one single value that may be used to describe the characteristic of the entire series that we already learned. An average gives a common platform to compare the data at a particular point of time over a period of time. Let us understand the comparisons of data at a particular point of time with an example. We can compare the percentage of results of the students of different colleges in a certain examination set T by BCom for the year 2013 and we collect the data we find in college A students are getting on an average 70 percent. In college B students are getting on an average 75 percent. In college C, students are getting on an average 80%. Now question arise, which college is the best one? 
So, by comparisons of the data, we conclude that college C is the best. Let us understand the comparisons of data over a period of time with an example. Management of a college analyzes the year-wide pass percentage of students of TYBCOM. They collect the data and they analyze that in the year 2011, 80 percent of the students are passed. In the 2012, 75 percent of the students are passed. In the 2013, 70 percent of the students are passed. The authorities have a sufficient reason for investigating the possible cause of deterioration in the results and take actions for improving the results. Now, let us understand the types of measures of central tendency. We have two types. First, as a mathematical average and another as a positional average. In mathematical average, again three types, arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean. In positional averages, we have median and mode. Let us recap the important points of this chart. First, number of measures of center tendencies are five. Second, mean are of three types. Third, generally the word average or mean only refers to the arithmetic mean. Fourth, measures of center tendency are called average of the first order. We can again divide AM, GM and HM into types that is simple and weighted. 